messed up. The cyclone come through and blew all the trees down. So this here is Lake Taupo, erupted 27,000 years ago. It crater caused lake. this big crater lake. The explosion was so violent, it blew all the stuff out so it didn't form a cone. The latest eruption was 1,800 years ago. AD 230. And it's the northern half of this lake that's the crater. Hundred years ago, there was an eruption at Lake Taupo, and what's left is bits of carbonised wood. So there's the layer up here. A bit of a tree stump of fucking climber. Well, that. That is my microphone's falling off. So, these the carbonised tree stump. Get another bit over here. So, all this is about another. Got the 18 meters, I think, and that's all the ash that's fallen from the volcano. So it came through. So we were the eruption was that way, Telpe, about an hour north of here, and it came through and it burnt all the trees and it's left them in this big. Oh, look, there's another piece over here. I'll wait for the truck to go past so I won't fall off the bank here. So there's the uh, the line running through here. You can see it up in there. Here's another another branch in here. Here's another great big big branch. Been burnt like stump through there. More of this carbonised wood. Sorry about the um, wind noise, I'll try putting my microphone back in. Yeah, see how that is. Here's a nice big. 
Big log all fully burnt out. All carbonised charcoal. So that was 1800 years ago. Put some more up in here. That's sort of a pumice -y. very, very light. Uh, pretty cool stopping here. I try and, well, like I said it's been about 10 years since I stopped here last time. Just a little bit of history of the eruption at Lake Taupo and the after effects of it. So, nothing's coming. I can cross the road back to our car and we'll carry on our adventure.